Hey guys, today we're going to look at Banjo-Kazooie for the N64. And uh, because it's an N64 game, and most of my N64 games are in rather abysmal condition, uh, I apologise in advance for the quality of the box. Uh, it's not the worst I've seen, but it's not particularly good either. As you can see by the G rating down there, this is the Australian PAL version of the game. Uh, so we've got the great uh, front cover. This is pretty much the same as the American one. So we have Banjo, Kazooie, Grunty, uh, some of the enemies from um, Mad Monster Mansion, Jinjo, a Jiggy, Mumbo, now we've got Bottles, uh, the Chimp, the Dragonfly, the Mumbo's Hut. There's tons of stuff going on in this first image. And, uh, you know, all the renders are really great, really high quality for the time. And of course, uh, for those who don't know, this was made by the one and only Rareware. Up here you can see originally this uh, sold for $80. Uh, then someone else bought it from a place called The Game Shop for $45. And then I got it from a garage sale for I don't know how much. So uh, yeah, that's basically the game's history. It's been for a few hands. On the sides here, that's for all N64 games. We have a Jinjo down there in uh, Gobi's Desert for some reason. We have a good old Grunty on the side. We have uh, Banjo and Kazooie up here. And we have Mumbo and another Jinjo up there. On the back of the box. Of course, we have our good old blurb, and because it's rareware, it's uh, yeah, reasonably well written. So, action and puzzles and bears, oh my! Trouble brews when Gruntilda the Witch capers, captures the unbearably beautiful cub Tooty. But before the grizzly hag can steal the bear's good looks, Big Brother Banjo and his fine feathered friend Kazooie join forces to stop her. Combining their 24 moves and special powers, Banjo and Kazooie will fend off an army of beasts. Armies of beasts. Bear and Bird must hunt down 100 puzzle pieces and 900 musical notes that will ultimately lead them to Gruntilda. However, miles of swamp, desert, and snow, and one bear of an adventure stand in their way. And uh, as you can see, all the little screenshots are done like puzzle pieces, so that's a really nice touch. So, soar over islands to scout out buried treasure, and rave past whirling blades in the belly of a mechanical shark. Yay, Clanker. With some voodoo magic, transform into different creatures to gain special powers and solve the puzzles of the ancients to unearth the cursed labyrinths. Uh, I'm not really sure what they mean by puzzles of the ancients. I'm thinking just, you know, that one puzzle in Gobi's Valley, but anyway. So yeah, that is uh, the, sale, the sale for Banjo-Kazooie. Not that it should really need a sale, but... Uh... Okay, so putting that box aside for the moment, we have the manual. And of course, being an N64 manual, and a Rareware manual, we have full colour goodness. So, this doesn't really use concept art or CG renders, it just uh, uses, like, in-game models. And, uh, you know, they look pretty good to me in this manual. We get our usual good blurb of a story. This is written in the exact same style as Donkey Kong Country, and it's a great read. It just kind of... Uh, it's basically the same as the intro cutscene in the game, but, uh, you know, just a little bit different. Then we go through all the characters. Also notice, of course, on the sides here, we have all the different icons for the different um, abilities and jiggies and whatnot. We go through all of their different actions, of which there are, you know, 24, as it said before. We go through all the different gameplay aspects, all the millions of collectibles that were in these games. Uh, I miss collectibles. Features and switches and molehills and Mumbo's hut. And then we go through the worlds. So of course we have uh, no Spiral Mountain for some reason, but we have Grunty's Lair, uh, Mumbo's Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, Clanker's Cavern, Bubble Gloop Swamp, Freeze Easy Peak, uh, Gobi's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, which scared the hell out of me as a kid, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, Click Clock Wood, 
and on. That's pretty much all of them. And then on the notes page we have a uh, background from Mumbo's Mountain. And yeah, we end with a background from Freeze Easy Peak. And that is the Bender Kazooie manual. Full colour, nicely set out, covers everything you need to. You know, it's a, just a good old railway manual. And last but not least, of course, we have the cartridge. And it's just a reprint of the front cover. So yeah, that's basically Banjo-Kazooie in a nutshell. If you haven't played Banjo-Kazooie, I implore you from the bottom of my heart to do so. Uh, not only is the gameplay brilliant, and you know, it's one of the greatest uh, 3D platformers ever made, but I mean, the writing was fantastic. This was a game that could easily make you laugh over and over again, and I still tremendously enjoy playing it to this day. Lots of uh, good old British wit in this. But uh, anyway, so thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you later.